What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is obviously Grim, and today we're going to be talking about Clade Points. Clade Gifts are a vital part of Mortal Online 2, and the problem with that is the tutorial island really doesn't give you much insight onto what gives you them, what doesn't, and the best ways to actually go about doing it. That's where this video is going to come into play for you. I'm going to show you two of my favorite ways to gain Clade. Now before we start this, I do just want to say that there are plenty of ways to gain clade, like I said before, so definitely let me know down in the comments below how you do it, and why. And let's go ahead and get into it, the first one we're going to talk about here is for foot fighters. Now this video was shot in the Tindrum sewers, but any sort of dungeon that you know well that has a lot of enemies and a good respawn time will work just fine for your foot fighter. The scoundrels in the Tindrum sewers respawn rather quickly and they give 12 clade per kill, so it's a very just quick in and out run, collect the heads, sell the gold, and repeat the process, and that's how you're going to do it here. Now you can go in as far as you want, just be advised once you start to get close to the boss you're going to see a lot more foot traffic, and with that foot traffic is going to come PvP, you might die a bunch, and that's going to slow things down. My runs are very quick, 3-4 to four minutes tops. Collect the heads, like I said before, go sell and repeat the process, and I find that this works best for me. And that's the nice thing about the dungeon runs, is you can actually go in and get clayed either way you want to play. If you want action, then go hang out near the boss, you're going to get plenty of it. If you don't, then just run in and out like I do, and you're going to have a nice relaxed run. Either way you do this, you will get a good amount of clayed, and on top of that, you can make a good amount of gold as well. Next up is the clade run I do for my archers. This one does involve kiting bandits so you will need to be fast. I find that it works best on horseback, but if you have a speedy foot archer, you can do this as well easily. Now at the time of recording this video, my mounted archery skill was around 50 so I'm not doing as much damage as I would if I was 100, but I wanted to show you the process so keep in mind, once your skill is all the way up, you will be doing a lot more damage to these guys. Now this is a very simple process, but it is effective, I promise you. Just kite them out, run them around in a circle, and shoot them along the way. Now just be aware that this is not the safest option out there. You will see other players, and you very well could end up in a fight. That being said, the clade you get from these guys is too good to pass up. As you can see here, one alchemist bowman gives you 70 clade points every single kill, and all the other bandit types within these camps all give over 10 clade. And the respawn times on the camps all make this well worth doing. And on top of that, there are places on the map that have these camps within riding distance of each other, so you can do a big loop and make a ton of clade points. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, I hope all you happy little souls have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one.